wanted to walk everybody through what a typical uh, classroom of mine looks like. I'm going to use Java programming as an example for a Canvas class, but hopefully this will apply to all of them in a pretty equal way. So let's take a look. So right now, I'm looking at the Java programming Canvas page. It has my contact information here, should you ever need to get a hold of me. Email is far and away the best way to do that. And I've also got a little getting started on how to use the course module for everybody. If you uh, want to know more about me, that's where I'm at. A syllabus, a calendar, and then the modules is basically the lessons, the things that we actually need to learn. I will be doing a week by week, this is what we need to do this particular week, and linking to where those things go in the modules. Hopefully it will be pretty clear what our goals are and how we're going to do them. Other things that are contained in Canvas, so the modules I mentioned, that's where all your lessons are. So these are a series of pages that walk you through the introduction of the class. Um, I did a little quiz to make sure people actually went through it. We do a lot of career development. So all of the classes, except for our very top level C++ class, have some sort of career element to them, looking at jobs, what are the professional skills you need, things like that. And then the actual assignments are down here. So I will have various pages that are the background that students will need. That will be some sort of video tutorial, some sort of walkthrough, something for them to gain the information they need in order to do the assignment, which is here. If you're looking at a particular assignment, you will have a due date. That's when I expect it to be turned in by. And then if there are revisions, hopefully we get them feedback before this close by date, and they'll get a chance to resubmit it. If for whatever reason um, I'm just having trouble getting everything graded on time, they'll still get a chance to resubmit at least once with any corrections, because it's really hard to get programs to work right the first time. A couple other pieces of information is the discussions. So if I'm not available to answer questions immediately, so for example, on the weekends that often happens, you can always put information in a Q&A so the students can ask each other what the answer is. And I also have an extra section for off topic, as long as it's school appropriate, where if they want to communicate digitally, they're allowed to do that. Hopefully that answers the basics of the class. And if you have any questions, of course, send me an email and I'll see what I can do to answer your questions.